Hello once again, viewers. This is the Heavy Metal Chemist. Apologies for the delay in posting another lecture, but uh, I've been ill with a cold for the past few weeks and uh, work and other stuff's got in the way, so um, let's just do a quick one. This time I'm going to cover oxidation states and a thing called disproportionation and its counterpart comproportionation, which is a, an odd little thing where elements can be reduced and oxidized simultaneously at the same time. Now, oxidation state, I'm assuming everybody knows what these are, but just to cover it, if we take hydrogen in most ordinary compounds, this is assigned a oxidation state of plus one, and oxygen is generally always a two minus. So, for this purposes, uh, water is neutral if you have ions. Um, say hydroxide, <coughs> HO minus, you've still got the same thing. Uh, if you've got H3O plus in an acid, uh, we will have exactly the same thing, 2 minus, plus, plus, plus 1, minus 1, and then all you know, these combine reversibly to give two waters. <coughs> oh, that's a completely different thing, that's acid base. <coughs> acid base shenanigans. So for example, one of the simplest things we can look at is tin. So tin 2 plus, we have these, we take two of them. Certain tin compounds have a habit of going, you know what, I don't like this 2 plus state. And they'll do that. So tin 2 plus has been oxidized and reduced. Uh, basically by itself, so one of the tins has nicked two electrons off the other. Um, this will generally stay in solution, if it's in aqueous solution. And this will be deposited as a solid. Um, although this again can react with further water, but this kind of process can happen all over the place. Uh, and another example of this would be, say we take chlorine and react that with water. Uh, under acidic, I say under acidic conditions, um, on camera focus, the camera's being a bit silly here, does this sometimes, tap that to focus it, there we go. Um, chlorine plus water, what you end up getting is, it forms hydrochloric acid, HCl, plus HOCl, and this is uh, hypochlorous acid, which is the conjugate acid of bleach, or sodium hypochlorite. Uh, so what we've got here is plus one, minus one on that, and then we've got plus one, minus two on the oxygen, because as I mentioned up here, oxygen is generally minus two, which means that this chlorine has to be plus one. So there we go, plus one and a minus one. So the chlorine has been both oxidized and reduced. And if you do this reaction under um, basic conditions, so you react it with sodium hydroxide, it forms... Um, chloride and uh, ClO3 minus, which is, looks a bit like, like that, so you've got 2 minus, 2 minus, 2 minus, uh, there's an extra minus there, so the chlorine is in the plus 5 oxidation state, and uh, to counteract that you've got 5 Cl minus, on the other hand, uh, to balance it. And similarly, this is a fairly well known one copper plus, so Cu plus in the aqueous environment tends to do the same thing as tin, where it forms copper metal and Cu2 plus Q, like so. Uh, but for certain elements or compounds, the reverse can happen. This chlorine reaction here is actually reversible, so if you heat a dilute solution of chlorine in water up, it will go back the other way um, and produce chlorine gas, which is why you shouldn't ever mix bleach and HCl, <coughs> because you are going to poison yourself in a horrible cloud of green nastiness, which is really not pleasant. Um, comproportionation is generally less common, but the, the same principles apply. So generally if we have E plus and E minus, then we'll react together to give 2E. 
or whatever the compound is. Uh, that's the, the general principle behind that. Um, manganese is known for doing this. Uh, in particular, it's a uh, it's not a particularly stoichiometric reaction, but if you've got Mn two plus and MnO four minus. Uh, those will react together to give MnO2, so you've got manganese in uh, the plus 2 and the plus 7 going to give manganese in the plus 4 oxidation state, like so. So that's the essence of that. If you have any questions, please do stick them in the comments section below. Uh, I'll try and answer as quickly as I can. Um, and if you have any ideas for new videos, I'll try and post a few more of those blog-type thingies up some point in the near future there's a couple of topics I want to talk about and uh, please do subscribe, like the videos and uh, uh, share this uh, to try and uh, help boost the popularity of this channel because I'm tr ultimately doing this for you guys if you've got anything you want to see me cover let me know and I'll try and do it thanks for watching and good night